are you doing here? You're obviously on a hunger strike. You want to explain that? Yeah. We are doing this hunger strike with two points, three points, sorry. One is uh, the upcoming uh, UN Human Rights Commission to stand up all the United Nations member members to stand up for Tibet and what's happening in Tibet, all the human rights violations happening in Tibet to stand up for us, don't sell us for their business and for their money. And also China to respect Tibetan human rights and Tibetans' religious freedom. And second point, uh, China to release Tenchen Lama and all the other political prisoners. And third point, China to uh, earnestly engage into negotiation with His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Tibetan government in exile. So these are our three demands uh, sitting here for a week uh, as a hunger strike. Now last year, President Clinton, he went to China and they made some kind of announcement that China was going to recognize Tibet in some way. Is mm -hmm. that helpful at all? Well, uh, President Clinton did a great job. We were very inspired for his support, publicly supporting for Tibet. And this was the first time uh, any head of state ever spoke so openly for Tibet, supporting in such a way, uh, and which was live broadcast. That was the uh, President Clinton and Xing Zemin's uh, press conference. And it was live broadcast in all over T Tibet and China. First time ever happened. All the time, Chinese government, Chinese government said only bad thing about his the Dalai Lama. And first time they ever heard something about who is Dalai Lama is a good human being, special being, somebody uh, is honest, what President Clinton said, you know, somebody respects by internationally, by all different religious group, race. So I think that woke up a little bit to the Chinese people saying, wow, President Clinton said something because they were really admiring President Clinton then. And him to say that, it really make them think about it. So anyway, also it was a great gesture of a, the most powerful nation's head to support for Tibet and uh, support for his own Dalai Lama. So definitely it helped for Tibetan cause. But that was only small beginning or great beginning in some extent, but it's only beginning. So what we need to really to achieve some concrete result is to follow up what he has done in Beijing and keep supporting us, and especially upcoming uh, UN Human Rights Commission in Geneva. We want to see United States government stand with us, you know. So. That's what I would love to see. Anything else you want to add? Well, underlying why we're sitting here with all this demand is because freedom, human rights, self-determination, these are basic human beings' birthright. Every human being's birthright. We're not sitting here demanding something outrageous thing. We are demanding something which is universal to every human being. So, and at the same time, other way around, what's happening in Tibet is totally opposite. Thousands of Tibetan political prisoners are right now suffering in prison. I mean, we are sitting here just one week, hunger strike is nothing. You know, we have such a comfortable blanket all these things, you know, like we don't have any fear, we don't have to be afraid from anything. We're wearing a nice cloth, warm cloth. This, my brother and sister in the prison, they are suffering every day. They are tortured every day. 
and the nuns are raped by many, many police, single nun. And they've been every day tortured with electric cattle prod. And they've been hanged up in the sky for days and beaten up so badly. And they're every day going through that suffering and torture. So it's very sad. And also, you know, China talk about having religious freedom in Tibet. We can even not put our own spiritual leaders photo in the monastery. People cannot have his, his son Dalai photo in their home. So what kind of religious freedom is this, you know? Of course, his son Dalai Lama is our spiritual and temporal leader, so spiritual and temporal leader. But, you know, their people cannot see him. And not only that, our culture is dying in Tibet, our environment being destroyed every day. So uh, my analogy is Tibetan, we have a saying that when your head is on a fire, you have to do something, you know? You cannot sit there and do nothing. So that's why we're trying to make say, a point here, you know, with, with this week-long hunger strike. And we want to urge the world community to help us, support us, stand with us. This is our most difficult situation in our more than 2,000 year history. So please help us.